Hi, everybody. So I decided to do a reading for my next sign for the month of January. And I want to do it for Gemini, um, which is very close to Cancer. Um, and this is going to be generally for the next month. And then usually it'll do a year out at the end, the last three cards. The decks I'm using are the same decks I used in my last video. And one of them is Native Spirit, which I use for questions, specific questions, um, as well as the Cosmic Tarot, Tarot, which is one of my favorites because it has to do with the universe and the planets and those cards. I just, I have to tell you, these cards are so amazing for symbolism because I don't read, um, I don't do this, the reading of the deck meaning like book book taught like I said in my last video um, I read from the symbolism of the deck so I am not taught in tarot I am a spirit communicator and reader and seer so just so you know in case you're checking out this video and didn't watch the cancer one that's the type of reader I am I probably do a video that says what kind of reader I am so people will understand and then I'm going to be using the Egyptian deck this is the cosmic tarot book and then the, oh, I love Egypt, and I'm a big Anubis, uh, Anubis is one of my dads, so um, he's a psychopomp like me, and if you don't know what that means, that's a person who guides people to the other side, and he's the bearer of the gate to the underworld, or, you know, to the other side where the dead are, so we're very connected. So I'm going to pull a couple cards from that deck um, in general for the Gemini sign for Cancer, Cancer, I mean for Gemini for the month of January. I just did Cancer. So if you're interested, go check out my other video. What do you have for the month of January for Gemini? I need to burn some more sage in here. I love the smell of it. but um. So I'm going to do three cards and I will share the image with you in a moment. So whoever I'm reading for is having relationship problems with a spouse, someone has passed away in the past six months, um, that were very important to your spouse, uh, whether it was a father, mother, I want to say this person that passed away was a, um, to your spouse, a sister or a brother or a cousin, someone who was at the same level as them. They were extremely close growing up and your spouse is having very, very bad difficulty accepting and, and she's, she or he, because I'm not really sure yet who, they, I'll say, are having a difficult time in the mourning process. And you, being the person you are, you don't understand that, why it's taking so long. And I know that sounds very ignorant, but a lot of people question that when it comes to death. You know, some people can grieve very quickly and others can't. So grieving is a process that's unique to the person. So if you're somebody who is connected to someone who knows someone who died, who is close to them, and you don't understand why they're so depressed still, please have comfort and guidance in knowing that that person is grieving in the time that they need to grieve. Some people never get over somebody passing away. I've never gotten over my, my cousin Robbie, who is like a brother to me, dying, even though I have a connection to the other side. I think that's the only comfort I have in his death is that I could still communicate with him. But grief is unique to each person, so have comfort in knowing that. And please give this your spouse time. They will get through it, and they will always be sad and reminded of this person's dying death. Because I think it was very sudden. So please be comfort. Please tell them to know. Support them a little bit more. Just understand them. Give them time. You are a very stubborn person. Who knows that she's mourning this person. He or she is mourning this person. And you want to be that person that they can come to. However you feel awkward about death. So that's why. And a lot of people are like that. Just be nice. You know like make dinner one night 
clean up the dishes, do laundry, do something that's going to be something you normally wouldn't do that's out of character for you as a gesture so that they don't have to do it. Maybe they're, they're sad that day. You know, not a lot of people show their emotions when they're mourning to their spouse or their significant other if you're not married. Um, some people have a hard time with that. You're always, this person that I'm reading for, the Gemini, you are very wish-washy when it comes to, you're very wish-washy when it comes to tradition or consistency. And I don't know how to explain this. For instance, I'll give you an example. So your spouse or your significant other wants to go out to dinner. You're very indecisive all the time. You're wishy-washy. I hope that makes sense. You know, you're like, I'm not sure. Then you want one thing, you don't want another. So your spouse or your significant other gets mixed messages from you because you're always changing your mind. And what I mean by that is you may be somebody who likes the same meal every time when you go to the Japanese or Asian restaurant, right, or sushi. And then all of a sudden you change and then you expect them to know that you changed what you like there. So you've been going the, you know, 12 times with them and got X, Y, and Z, and now you want LMN, LMN, and you're, and then you get offended because they don't know that. That's the kind of person you are. You're very wishy-washy. You need to be more forthright. You need to be more, um, I don't want to say, I'm trying to think of the right term. I don't want to say predictable because that's not the word I mean you gotta be more forthright you gotta you know you gotta spirit is showing me that you need to be more well actually you know what spirit's telling me is you need to have balls so I think this is a guy I'm talking to a Gemini guy and spirit's saying that you need to get some balls and stand up for yourself and stop being wishy-washy because the spirit's showing me that whoever your significant other is whether it's same sex or opposite sex or whatever is you don't stand up enough to them. So that's why I see balls. So that doesn't necessarily mean you're a male. I'm sorry. I'm going to refrain from what I said earlier, a little while ago, a couple minutes ago. See, I have very male energy. Okay. I have very much male energy. I balance my male and my female energy, yin and yang, right? Um, I have more male energy. So I'm always the male in the relationship. I have, I, I don't know how to explain that because it's not really a sex thing. It's more of a yin yang thing. This person that's coming through has a female energy, but is I feel is a male possibly, but they don't have that male energy. So I hope that makes sense. That's why I said get some balls. And I don't want to offend anybody, but that's how I feel. It's like I have bigger balls than most men that I know. And I'm not saying that about anybody that I'm friends with here. I'm just saying in general in life, I feel like I'm always the one who is more like a man than most of the men that I've been with in relationships and other things. So... I'll get that out there. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody because I didn't mean anything against guys. That's why when I was growing up, I was more friends with guys because I don't want the drama of the women who's who's doing who and who's got makeup and whose hair looks great. What color shoes do you have? I'm so not about that. So that's why I'm saying I'm more male energy. So I hope I got that out there. I'm going to ask about this uh, wishy-washy person that I'm reading for. If you're this person and this resonates with you, I'm sorry I'm being so blunt. The spirit is making me be blunt because they feel that you need to snap out of it because you're causing stress and anxiety to your your relationship, whether it's a spouse or uh, or just somebody you're in a relationship, a long term relationship. Yeah. So I said you're wishy washy, right? Shape shifter. Come on, dude. Like, seriously, whoever you are that I'm reading for, stop being wishy-washy. Stop hiding behind whatever you don't want this person. This person is the person you're going to be with. Like, be who you are. Stop being wishy-washy. Don't just change because other people are changing. Don't be that prissy person that, you know, oh, I'm going to go to the restaurant and for the last six times with this person, I've gotten this. And now all of a sudden it's too good for me and I need to get something else. I just think this is funny. This reading is just going a whole different way than I thought it would go. But hey, I'm blunt if anything. So if you don't like bluntness, then you're not going to like these readings because that's exactly who I am. 
And so, and I'm not afraid to talk to ghosts and people who have died on the other side. A lot of readers don't like doing that. And I'm sorry, but they bring through a lot of information that the cards don't bring through or that I can't bring through. So if I do get spirits, when I do private readings, I give a choice of what kind of reading you want. And if you're somebody who's going to reach out to a spirit, right? If you want to reach out to someone who's died, I specifically tell you the reason why those readings are slightly more than a tarot reading because they take so much out of me and because whoever comes through is going to come through. Now, if I do a regular tarot reading like this or an intuitive healing reading or a Reiki reading, whatever, I ask the person if there's anybody they want me to reach out to. And a lot of people say no. So, I mean, it just depends. And so now I was shuffling the deck and obviously you saw a card fill out. So I'm going to tell you what the card is, and then I'm going to tell you what I get from it. This is the female energy of the person I'm reading for. Even though this is a female in the picture, this is your energy. I feel that you're a male, but you have female energy. This is you, stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. And always have to have the last word so frustrating the energy that i'm getting from you so so frustrating because you're watching this and you know it resonates with you but in a, on another level you're like yeah that's not me but because i brought up the death of your spouse or a significant other's person because it doesn't necessarily have to be a wife or a husband it could be a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever that's going to resonate with you because it's too specific The significant other in your life is going to, in eight months or so, really start to not mourn as much. They're going to start to appreciate life more and realize how short life is and how blessed they are. Um, right now, it's just hard. It's just difficult because you're angry at whatever God you believe in or whatever path you believe in that they took away this person. So it's tragic. It's tragic. And you need to be patient with this person. Whoever I'm reading for, you need to be patient for your significant other. Yep. Same cards. Let me pull one of the... Uh, Pull one of the Egyptian cards. Whoever this is I'm reading for in Gemini, you need to be more patient with your significant other, especially this month. Going into February, you're going to start realizing that you need to work on yourself a little bit, meaning spiritually, whether you're religious or you, you know, whatever path you believe in, you need to pray, meditate. Uh, what's the word I want to use? You need to connect with the environment more, whether that's going to the gym, going outside, fishing, hunting, uh, hiking, something like that. And you need to spend more time with your significant other doing things they like to do versus what you like to do. Not being selfish. I also see that one of you is going to need a new vehicle in the next six months. I'm not sure which. I want to say you more than them. Something's just going to happen. The car is going to break down and it's going to cost too much money to fix. And one of you is going to have to make that decision. And you will find the right choice. Um, now I'm going to pull the last couple cards for the future Gemini because that's all I'm getting through for you for the month of January so we're going to pull a couple cards for the future you're going to struggle with changing yourself 
Because, you know, what do we have to do? We have to look in the mirror at ourselves. Not a lot of people can do that, especially Geminis. And because of your wishy-washy personality, because what do we say? Geminis, two people, right? You're fearful of it. You're afraid of who you are underneath your skin because you're wishy-washy, you know. And you're going to be critical of yourself as you're changing because you feel like you're, you know, it's that penance. It's that whole looking back and seeing what kind of person you were. Maybe you weren't always the nice person. I don't must say mean, but selfish, I guess. But you're going to get strength from it. It's going to be hard for a little while, but you're going to be strength. Let go of that pride because it's not going to get you anywhere. Your relationship's going to flourish and get better. When you accept who you are and, and just not be so wishy-washy. So that is my reading for Gemini for the month of January. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it resonated with you. And if it didn't resonate with you, maybe one of my other videos will resonate with you. I'm so, so thankful for all your support on my channel. I also have Instagram and Facebook and a website. I hope you follow me there. And please like this channel and share my channel if you feel it's something that your friends or family might like. And like the, like the the don't forget to hit like if you like this video. And to hit the notification bell if you're interested in new content or live feed when I do this again. And I really appreciate all the support of my Instagram and Twitter friends that I've recently met. As well as some YouTubers and also some Facebook page friends. I'm so grateful for all your support. Thank you again for following me. And I hope that you all have a blessed rest of your week. And uh, see you soon. Thanks. Bye.